Forsake me not, O Lord, my God. Be not far from me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, my strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Today we thank God for the gift of our lives, and we ask him for the graces. And also we thank him for the glorious return of Mr. John. For us to celebrate in the world with this sacred mystery, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for strength. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praise well deserves, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of Saint. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you and now tell you, even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction, their God is their stomach, their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to himself. Therefore, my brothers and sisters whom I love and long for, my joy and crown in this way, stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, we will go up to the house of the Lord. And now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem built as a city with com compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel, <clears throat> give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up, set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever keeps the word of Christ, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward 
who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do? Now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me, I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship, they may welcome me into their homes. He called in his masters, his masters, debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? He replied, One hundred measures of olive oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then to another he said, And you, how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eighty. And the master commanded that this honest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good, and all the time. So the gospel reading of today is, if I may say, basically about insincerity. It is about an insincere steward. But then the parable of Jesus Christ ends up, ends commending the steward and in a way recommending that children of the light learn from the steward. And this is one of the gospel which has many diverse positions when it comes to scholarship study. And some scholars believe that the, the, you know, Jesus commended the steward not necessarily because of his insincerity, but he was recommended because the what you know the the, the, the money he stripped off the the debtors was not for the master, but it was for the steward himself. Because after that, the master was to pay him. So when he took away fifty and twenty from what the debtors owed, it was his own money that he took off so that they wouldn't have to pay much to the master. Some also believe that he only forgave the debtors the monies which was not his but of the master. So there is a bit of you know inconclusive positions when it comes to these things. Be that as it may, however, what Jesus draws our attention to is not necessarily about the figure of the steward or his crudeness, if I may say, but about how he was prudent, his prudence as regards proactiveness for the future. This man could have taken the 50 that the people owed. And he could have taken also the 20 that he took away from the second man and used the money for whatever he wanted to use the money for. But he realized that if he invested or he took the money for himself or invested in money or material things, it could finish the 60 or the 70 that he would have earned, would have, uh, he would have squandered it again. But then there was the need for him to invest in man. Because if you invest in man, that's in a way, it never ends. 
So instead of taking the money, he decided to invest in man, to let the people take the money. Because in the near future, if he was to suffer, not necessarily the money would come to help him or the material investments that he makes would help him. But at least the people that he helped would come to his aid and help him. He placed man before resources, before material gains and all that. And that is one of the ways that Jesus is recommending that we learn from him. Secondly, is the fact that he thought of the possible future. He realized that our lives as we are living is not all about today. So like I said, he could have taken the money, squandered it and all that. But he realized that there is a possible future we have no control of and planned ahead of that. That is why Jesus is recommended his subject when it comes to these things. And so if we are to learn from this man, it is not about his insincere ways of having, you know, whatever he wanted by any means, but about his profoundness to place humanity above material gains. And it's about his profundity again to realize that there is always the need for us to secure our future, especially for us as Christians, eternity. We pray in this holy mass that we may also, as Jesus recommends to us, also be aware of these two basic facts of life. And that first, we may do whatever we can by any good means to secure our future, our eternity, and also to place humanity above all other things. God bless us. Trusting in God, whose love is beyond our understanding, let us offer our prayers this day. For our Holy Father, may the Lord look graciously upon his every need and continue to prosper him in holiness. And for all entrusted with leadership, may the Spirit give them every good gift to fulfill their responsibilities with integrity. Let us pray to the Lord. For the unemployed and the, and the underdeveloped, may God lead them to gain full employment. And for this community of faith, may God continue to help us grow in love for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for all who have died in faith, may they be lovingly welcomed as citizens of heaven. And for those who need our prayers, those who have asked for our prayers also, and those who have no one to pray for them, that God may look tenderly on them. Let us pray to the Lord. In the silence of our hearts, let us put before God our various intentions. Heavenly Father, your grace is sufficient for us. Please hear and answer our prayers in your wisdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, the neck of human hands, that it may become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God, of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine we offer you, fruit of divine and work of human hands, that it may become for us our spiritual friend. Yours may be acceptable to the Lord God Almighty. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise thee as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when Sarpo ascended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for men, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, given thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your chest spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with so many in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. And the Savior's command and formed by his divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father,
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her the peace and unity in accordance with your will. Your holy and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. You will show me the path of life, the fullness of joy in your presence, O Lord.
Let us pray. May the working of your power, O oh Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go forth in peace. St. Michael, the Archangel, 